Gold is first mentioned in the Bible in Genesis, I believe it's chapter 12, verse 3. Anyhow, it says the land, the gold of the land of Iran is good. So, so historically, gold has been God's money. In other words, there's only so much gold, and gold is a metal that has such unusual properties. There's no other metal like it, and the scarcity of it is pretty amazing. Uh, they say that if you had all the gold in the world together, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't uh, be as much as the Washington Monument in volume. And so, being it's scarce, and our Constitution originally says that our money is to be backed by gold and silver. Well, then in 1972, that backing was taken off, and it allows the government to print money with no backing. Well, I guess uh, that, you know, if they're printing it with no backing, what's the value of it? And so um, we re highly recommend that you buy precious metals, particularly, well, gold and silver, because they are a store of wealth. And as inflation erodes the purchasing power of the dollar, your purchasing power is maintained by having gold and silver.